Great. So uh, one question I think that uh, many of us have, and including myself, why has uh, why has there not been enough focus on the math review school? Is it something that because Ashari is usually you know pitched, it's pitched as the forefront and as the most predominant school of thought in theology? Yeah. So yeah. Um, the question that comes out of it is that is Matthew's school marginal with respect to Ashari, or is this that there's not enough work being done on it? Uh, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? It's a it's a really interesting question. Um, uh, again, it's it's a historical um, question. Um, uh, William Montgomery Watt um, wrote this article um, a few several decades ago called "The Problem of Al Maturidi." And the problem mm -hmm. of Al Maturidi is like, why does he? We, we think of him as like a parallel figure to Al Ashri, but kind of no one, you know, Ibn Khaldun doesn't mention him. No one. It seems like the, he's been missed from many of you know, outside of his own tradition. He's not there, um, and so it's kind of this mystery of like, why why was he less known? Um, in fact, he wasn't even so famous even in his own kind of region, even in Transoxiania. He's from uh, uh, Samarkand, so basically what's now Uzbekistan, but um, you know, he's in that sort of um, what's uh, called Transoxiania, um, uh, sort of eastern lands of, of Islam. Um, he's not so well known, even in those lands, he's not so famous at first. Um, you know, he's known in his own re in his own city, he's known, right? Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a whole process of how he becomes uh, more well known, how he becomes taken as the the uh, named head, the eponym of the school. How he, you know, in fact, the early Maturidis, they didn't call themselves Maturidis, they called themselves Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'a, or they called themselves um, uh, Hanafis. They didn't see themselves as being so. There is a process, I think, for example, Asherism became quite quickly or more quickly codified as a school, mm -hmm. um, a named school. Even though in the early days there was also a process for that, but it, it was a quicker process, I think. Maturidis, because of the Hanafism, even today, you know, uh, well, today is more common to think of Maturidis, but often people will still think of Hanafis. Um, and then, secondly, it took longer to to gain the identity. And then, secondly, even um, uh, as, almost as soon as it did start to gain the identity, or maybe even parallel to this process of gaining the identity, there was a kind of uh, uh, meeting with the Asheris, a kind of, uh, in some ways, um, uh, you know, an issue of debates over the points of difference, but in many places, an agreement on certain issues, and this mm -hmm. idea of a kind of shared Sunnism. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And so, you know, in some ways, um, almost as soon as Maturidism came into its own as a kind of tradition, it became kind of very much influenced and um, in discourse with Asherism, and in that within that relationship, um, it seems to, to me that um, Asherism, for for various reasons, took the upper hand in mm. terms of in terms of kind of fame. In terms, I think, um, in in many respects, in terms of influence on at least on the theological issues I've been exploring. Again, in the book, <clears throat> I have some interesting points where I show that at each stage of the tradition, you know, I, I try to look at the tradition in different stages. As this tradition, this sort of Samarkandi Hanafism, which turns into Maturidism as we know it, um, the major points of shift in that tradition seem to be in reaction to developments in Asherism. Mm -hmm. So I think that Maturidism as a tradition has developed kind of, um, it's kind of almost followed the path of Asherism to some extent and mm -hmm. tried to see where it, where it can align itself with Asherism it has done. And then in a few issues, it remains steadfast on keeping a separate identity on some of these issues which right. become the fame become the famous issues of difference um you know sometimes said to be only six or seven um uh, or 13 or so like you know just a few um and then um you know into the um present day um uh yeah into the into the present day um the um the school, like um, you know, it, it, you know, up until the modern time. Sorry, um, just had a little interruption from my son. It's all right. Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, what you really um, see is that there's this sort of shared Mat Ashari Maturidi identity gets formed, where mm. really it doesn't matter which one you are. You could be either. They're basically the same thing. And again, um, you know, in my argument, and it's it's an argument. Someone can disagree, but but my argument, at least in the book that I'm uh, uh, written. Is is going to is basically that when Maturidis have done that, they've done it on the terms of the Asheris largely, and this has resulted 
in in you know less of a meaningful for role for that Matsuridi system in its own respect. Mm-hmm. And so one of my motivations for going back to Al Matsuridi as much as I do is that I think where 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 he is standing in his time, there is a there are some very meaningful distinctions between his thought and Ashri thought, which are interesting and which are substantial. And it's really the later Matsuridi tradition which moves significantly towards Asherism, for good or bad. And um, uh, and so therefore, I am interested for the purposes of a kind of more sort of original contemporary thought. I'm interested in kind of recovering that earliest Matsuridism and seeing what that looks like. Right. And 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 how does the system work in its own light? And so that's what I'm kind of doing largely in the book, uh, with the additional aspect of it not being just a historical mm-hmm. recovery, mm-hmm. but a constructed project as well. So right. yeah, um, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a complex <laughs> story to tell. But I mean, for a number of num- long and short of it, for a number of reasons, the school has sort of stood in the shadow of the Ashari theology mm-hmm. it's, it's so, historically up until today. Yeah. 